it's game over for the takeover. The fake over season came to an end. Congratulations to George Composis for dominating Teofimo Lopez, becoming the new lightweight unified champion of the world. Composis was pure class in and out of the ring tonight. On the other hand, Teofimo Lopez had no class at all. The delusional season continued for Teo. According to Teo, he won 10 rounds tonight. But like George Composis told Teo, just look at your face. If anyone won 10 rounds tonight, it was George Composis. He beat Teofimo Lopez tonight in his own hometown. You know how dominating you have to be in order to win in someone else's hometown, especially when you're going up against the champion. Well, that's what George Composis did tonight. He walked into the arena getting booed, beat the hometown fighter, then left with cheers. To make matter worse, he left the booze for Teofimo Lopez, who was making delusional statements that he thought he won the fight. Nevertheless, from the first bell, Teofimo Lopez was gunning for the KO. But we all know in the sport of boxing, the quickest way to get knocked out is look for the knockout, which that nearly took place in the first round. Teofimo Lopez came out blazing, rushing his work. Now, even though he managed to land few right hands back to back, the bad news is that Composis stayed composed. He managed to weather the storm. And to make matter worse, he was able to take Teofimo Lopez's power. So slowly but shortly, Composis was catching Teo coming in with a check hook. Then at the end of the first round, Composis caught Teo coming in with the overhand right. Exactly how Teo got dropped on the sparring footage you guys see above. That's the moment Teofimo Lopez's facial impression changed. Yeah, he was smiling, but that smile came from embarrassment. It was like he was talking to himself. Like, man, this man Composis is the real deal. He wasn't joking during the press conferences because I sure was. That looked like the conversation Tia was having with himself. See, I told you guys on my prediction video that a confident man is a dangerous man. And Composis was composed, not intimidated by the moment. More importantly, he was full of confidence. I also told you guys if Tio can't get him out of there early, then it's going to be a long, tough night for Tio. Composis will give him hell. But who would have thought Composis was going to hurt Tio early, drop him, then dominate him? Because that's exactly what Composis did. He outclassed Tio in and out of the ring. That's why we all love the sport of boxing. It's always the theater of the unexpected. Now, as the fight continued, Composis was outclassing Tio, where he managed to hit Tio with the overhand right and the straight right hand all night long. Composis really looked solid in there. What was so impressive by his performance, he wasn't just outboxing Tio, he was also outfighting Tio in the inside, where he managed to hurt Tio multiple times during the fight with check hooks, a right uppercut, an overhand right, a straight right hand, you name it. Man, Composis was whooping on Tio so bad, he got too comfortable. And we all know one place you can get too complacent is inside of that ring, which that's exactly what happened with Composis in the eighth round. See, Composis was controlling Tio with his jab alone. He was working off his jab by hooking off his jab, controlling the range, and setting up the right hands behind his jab. But out of nowhere, Composis abandoned his jab, which allowed Tio to come on strong. At the end of the seventh round, Tio smartly started to counter to the body instead of to the head, which gave him a lot of success. Then in the eighth round, I believe he hurt Composis with a right hand behind the ear, where he managed to drop Composis. Now, Composis was badly hurt. However, he got up and showed so much heart. He showed that he has the heart of a champion. Tio, on the other hand, he let the opportunity pass by. That's when Composis came on in the later rounds, hurting Tio, dominating him and outclassing him even more in the championship rounds, which what makes a champion. So congratulations to the new champion who made no excuses leading up to this fight even though I believe his father passed away two months ago. However, instead of making excuses, he used that as motivation, as fuel, where he dedicated this fight to him. On the other hand, Tio pulled out of the fight originally due to the COVID, then claimed an injury. But in the meantime, he got caught smoking hookah, partying, drinking, 
while Composers was working his ass off. So like I said on the video of Tio smoking hookah, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work as hard. This is a perfect example of cherry picking going wrong. Tio ducked Devin Haney in order to cherry pick Composers, only to find out George Composers is the real deal. He is no cherry. This man is a warrior and deserve all of the respect. To put icing on the cake, you have to love his attitude. Calling out Devin Haney, the boogeyman in the sport of boxing, right after the biggest win of his career. So once again, congrats to Composers. He deserved this. He earned this. And he proved he's a true warrior tonight. On the other hand, Teofimo Lopez claimed he got robbed, but doesn't even want a rematch. Where they do that at? Not in New York. But like Composers told Tio, game is over. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one.